Hello guys, it is Steve Spacer back with yet another hard space shipbreaker video. So, new message received. A robust model built to transport heavy industrial goods or hazardous materials. Graffle strength can be upgraded to improve handling of its heavy structural element. Awesome. So I can upgrade my graffle strength. Nice. Um Hazards fire. Career progression. Clearance hazard level 2. Links is committed to ensuring shipbreakers are exposed to hazard levels in ships only according to their proficiency level and median estimated emotional attachment time should death occur related to these hazards. If you have reached clearance for hazard level 2, you may begin to encounter fire hazards in the form of fuel or flaming objects. Causing Link's equipment or salvaged goods to be damaged by fire hazards will result in credit deductions, as will damage to or destruction of your Link's spare. How many hazard levels do I have? Okay. Um, congratulations, you are now qualified to handle electrical hazards during salvage. Due to regulatory rollbacks introduced in 2299, Link Salvage does not do a preliminary exam of ships to disconnect potential electrical hazards. So I gotta disconnect some things before I tear them apart. We believe our shipbreakers are well suited to handle such dangers. Long term time savings are highly beneficial. Electrical components may arc when removed, impacted, or damaged causing other objects to be electrified, including the shipbreakers themselves. This can cause damage to Link's spare and Link's equipment. Caution is advised. And we got the Markle, Markle Exolab, typically used for deep space research, outfitted with a wide variety of scientific instrumentation. Extract this fragile equipment carefully and be aware of electrical hazards. Okay. Oh, now I have to pay daily fees. Which is a lot of money. But we have 2 mil compared to their 500,000. So, we're good for now. New sticker unlocked. Cool. I dub the shipbreaker. Oh, for please, it's not oil. Um. Hey, Cutter. I'm looking at the stats coming from your bay, and it's looking like you're really going to make your way around here. It's time to learn about how to upgrade your equipment, and some of the more advanced tools you'll soon have at your disposal. Head on over to your workbench in the equipment room, and we'll see about upgrading your tools. I can only upgrade my grapple right now. Okay. I'm going to read this straight from the manual. <clears throat> Lynx rewards hard work and learning by giving shipbreakers access to tool improvements and new equipment. Reaching salvage goals is essential for becoming a master shipbreaker. Basically, they want to make sure you prove yourself first before giving you the big guns. Completing salvage goals will net you shiny Lynx tokens. Use those tokens here to get yourself some new gear. So let's get going and learn about one of the most important tools in a shipbreaker's toolbox. Tethers. Go ahead and purchase them. Yay, tethers. Now where do I purchase those? What? Is it graffle? Yes. Purchase license for a remote contiguous van de walls medium tensor or tether. Tethers can be deployed to establish two electromagnetic anchors that pull objects along a medium field. That's what we saw in the video thing. So let's get it. Noise. Repeat after me, Cutter. Tethers are your friends. Now, have a quick read, and let's hop back in the bay. Okay, so an enhancement to the standard held utility grapple, the... Yeah... Reduces the need for multiple shipbreakers to move a single heavy object. A versatile tool in the hands of skilled workers, the introduction of tethers led to the second greatest increase in salvaging efficiency in Link's history, only losing out to 
wheel protein breakfast meal. Discontinued in 2262. Tethers are easy and intuitive to use. Press and hold your grapple's secondary trigger, so right click, to place the first contact point. Drag the connection to another object and release the trigger to complete the connection. Tethers automatically retract to pull connected objects together. They can be used to pull objects into the processor, furnace, oh, or barge for efficient and quick salvaging. Okay. So I can just attach it to the things that they need to go in and pull them. That's awesome. Yes. Me likey. Anyway, um, I was going to go check my... I got any new messages. Um, I've read all these. Yeah. So, let us work on the. Wait, can we upgrade our suits? I would hope so. No, not yet. Dang it, I wanted to upgrade my oxygen tank. Because that's a pain in the butt. Anyway, we continue this. Links mandates each cutter salvage the maximum amount of value possible in any timely manner. Words and recognition may be given to top performers. Team salvage. Yep. Oh, I like how you see that turning on down there. Nice. So I got 20 tethers. Can you buy them? Oh, is he not going to talk to me because this isn't a new ship? Well, too bad, mate. I'll still play around with my tethers. Whether you want me to or not. Okay, so let me cut this. Yeah, I don't think he's going to talk to me. Oh, I did that wrong. Oops. How does this work? There you go. Now, why aren't she working? Okay, so that's going to make it easier for me to do bigger stuff. Yes, I know, I know. Oh, there it goes. Material deposited. Tethers are awesome. Probably shouldn't be using them all at once. <laughs> And off they go. Oh, that's cool. Well, Me likey. Uh, so let's go see if we can actually buy tethers. So I should still be able to grapple. I 
I hope I can buy tethers. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Um, yes. Thank you for your tethers restored. Oh, if you're not careful, you can accidentally tether the entire ship somewhere. Which would not be good, because it has a mix of aluminum and nanocarbons. And so, if they go on the wrong stuff, they get destroyed, and then you lose money from that stuff. Because it got broken. Got switch modes. Oh, what are you? O2. Oh, two. Cool. Okay, those don't detach. So this ship shouldn't have fire hazards. Get any money for that noise? Freak, there's just rocks in the ceiling or something. Now what are these? Nanocarbon? That over here. So that's probably the thing that's flammable walls, fuel tanks. I honestly don't think I'm getting any money from certain things. Short charts. Okay, that worked. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Maybe because it's moving too quick? Okay, let's just use a tether. Honestly, because it's going too fast. So, yeah. I think it's just going in there too fast. It's not registering. Which sucks, but you know. Alright, we're pressing C. That's what we need to press. Another asteroid shard. Gosh dang it. Need to get oxygen again.
Ooh, we overshot. No. Anyway. Might as well get fuel. I just see Sparkimos. And I think this place had um, electric hazard. Maybe it does. How'd you get loose? Broken seat. And then we're just gonna tether this. Oh, this has a level too. See, so yeah, I could have fire. Um, electric is hazard level 3. Okay, this still has a lot of um, aluminum. Tethers make things so much easier. <laughs> it's not gonna take us a million years to move heavy objects anymore. Just kind of tether stuff and then let it do its own thing. We don't have to babysit it until it goes in. This this is a uh, furnace. Now we're good on oxygen. There's a door. Hmm. Now let's let's go get oxygen. I didn't know that had a door on it. <laughs> Welcome to Visitor on Nine Thousand. Have a nice day. We're good on tethers. Uh, these are both processor items. We can actually attach these to each other. And then attach them to the processor. And 
off they go. Valuable object accepted for processing. Oh, that's not gonna go in, is it? No, it's fine. Nice. Okay. Um. So I gotta couldn't disconnect this. Don't know if that's gonna make it. There we go. go. Don't bring the entire ship. No, 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 no. It's freaking bringing the entire ship. Come on, cut. Cut. We gotta cut this! Oh no, that's the entire... No, I'm being sucked in by the processor! Everything went wrong there. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Expired. You received a high velocity impact. Explosions and violent decompressions can move objects extreme velocity. You're in breach of contractors? Alright, alright. Breathe. You okay? Got yourself good there. Don't sweat it. Happens to the best of us. Always good to review your spare replacement form. See how you can avoid future mishaps. Too many spares will rack up the debt, and that's how they get you. Okay, let's get back to work. Weaver out. Well, there goes all the freaking <laughs> aluminum and possible and barge items that were still on that. Oh, gosh dang. That just sucks. I hate that. Aluminum. Airlock got destroyed. We got a mill for it, but still. That sucks. 15% of it got destroyed. Yeah, I guess I was getting sucked in by the processor, which made everything worse. Because I couldn't get out of the processor suction, and then when I did, I hit the um, ship. Which caused damage. Lynx would like to share the following inspirational message. Make the most of your shift by fanning the tiny sparks of effort 
into flames of profitability. Cool. You guys are hearing background noise. That's great. Uh, I've just said it out or I'm not talking. Yet. I always do that anyway. But guys, that'll be it for this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Like, video, comment, and subscribe for more. See you guys in my next video. Whenever, whatever that one may be. Bye, guys.